Hi, this is Megan from Echo 3D, and today I will be showing you a demo of the Echo 3D platform. Echo 3D is a 3D asset management platform for developers that provides tools and cloud infrastructure to manage and stream 3D content in real time to 3D, AR, VR, and metaverse apps, games, and experiences. We offer a 3D first content management system and delivery network, asset compression and conversion tools, and a scalable backends as a service infrastructure that enable developers to build a 3D AR VR app backend within a few minutes. All of this allows you to store, manage, edit, and stream 3D assets in real time and across multiple devices anywhere. Before I start the demo, I'd like to let you know that everything I am about to show you will also be available through an API call as our platform quickly automates a lot of these processes in the backend. So let's just jump right into it. When you register for free, you will automatically get an API key, which will be your repository for all 3D content. And as you can see, you can have multiple projects. Then if I come over to downloads, we have a variety of SDKs and example codes built into our platform. And all you need to do is install the integration you want to use and all the instructions on how to do that can be found in our documentation. Then if I want to add a model to the cloud, I can come over here and click this plus button. We have over 75,000 free models right on our console. I'm going to click the ferret, hit next. And right off the bat, we have these three targeting options. We have anywhere, specific location, which allows you to tag a GPS coordinate to the model and on an image. For right now, I'm just going to click anywhere, hit next and done. And what's happening to this 3D model right now is that we're converting and compressing it, we're pushing it on the cloud, and that allows it to stream anywhere. And the upload time can take up to 30 seconds, but it really depends on the size of the model. And another cool thing about our console is that you're not just limited to 3D models, but we also allow you to upload 2D images and videos as well. But here's our ferret, he looks great, and he's in this GLB format, but if I click downloads, you can see that we automatically converted it to a few other file formats. And I can also easily share this by just sending out this link or clicking one of our social media options. I can also easily see it in AR by scanning one of these three QR codes. We can also add metadata to our model, and I can show you how easy that is. So I already uploaded my model, and as you can see, I have our Unity SDK already installed. I have an empty scene populated. All I would need to do is copy and paste my API key into Unity, which I already did, and click play. And there's my ferret. So if I wanted to add metadata, I can come over back into our console, click this down arrow, add data. And we have a number of metadata classes out of the box that you can choose from, or you can create your own custom metadata to tag models, create custom behaviors, or have them interact with scripts. I always like to see my model spin. It's like it's a dance party, click enter. And there we go, my model starts spinning. Another super cool thing about this SDK is that if I stop the scene, everything disappears. So the app itself would be super, super small because nothing actually persists on the memory. So let me just close this and come back into our console to show you all these really cool tabs that we have here. So as you can see, our content tab is kind of like our homepage. It shows all of our uploads, but next we have our data tab. So this page easily allows you to add metadata like you can also do on the content page. Then we have our web AR customizer. You can easily create custom web AR experiences. You can add background images, buttons and logos, audio, camera capture, and a bunch more. For our model editor, 
I would just have to click on my model. And I can edit lighting, add hotspots. I can change emissive and occlusion maps. I can also swap textures and change base colors like how I'm going to do right now. On our locations tab, you can see where your models are being distributed around the world as well as the server coverage. You can see user distribution. And for insights, you can view your usage history. I just used the ferret model, so there's spike. And I can also see my project history. On our convert and compress page, when uploading your models to our console, you can allow us to automatically convert and compress and optimize for things based on network strength, or you can specify what you're looking for on this tab or via an API call, like how I mentioned at the beginning. We also have open source methods like Draco and GLTF pack. On our tutorials page, we have a bunch of tutorials as well as FAQs and a link to our full documentation. Then our inspiration page is kind of like our CEO's pet project. It's basically a what's what in AR and VR. And if I click this button up here, you can see all of the projects that have been powered by Echo 3D. On our subscription page, you can manage your plans. And then finally, we have our security tab where you can easily add team members to your projects by simply entering their email address. I hope you enjoyed this quick demo of our Echo 3D platform with so many possibilities and features for you to take advantage of. Register for your free seven day trial on our website today.